Welcome back, Fuseline Gamers. This is Ren again. Today, we're going to go over just the basic gameplay. And one of the first things I like to do in the game is to place a tile in either my home or my exit or both, depending. And I've got some good tiles here. So this is one of my favorite tiles for my home. I'll place it here. And I like to do that because if you can't win the game unless you have a tile in your home or exit. So it's just a basic strategy idea for myself. You don't have to do this but I like to just put one in each. That way, if I get close to winning, at least I've got the tile in the place I need it to be. It's very frustrating if you're almost done the game and you find out that, oh my gosh, I don't have a tile in my exit. So we're just gonna go along here and I'll pause it in between some moves until things get interesting. Okay, and so the game's moved along a little bit and you can see the opponent has been placing some tiles and I've been placing some tiles. And what we're trying to do is Make a connection here, and I'm going to place this one here. And you can see this is a loop, so this would potentially be bad if it was all cemented in. But for right now, um, I can leave it like that. But I'm going to I'm going to actually pick a different tile because that one does not necessarily work the way I'd like it to. So I'm going to take this one. It looks a little better for me. Now let's see what the opponent does with that. All right. Well, that was probably smart. We'll remember that. You can hit the replay button to see what they did. That was a smart move because if I put the right tile in here, I could have potentially had a win. So maybe next turn I'll get a chance. Let's see what happens. Oh, and again they rotated. Now we'll take a look at the alterations by hitting the number three, and you'll see we have one alteration on both of these tiles. But for right now, I'm just gonna rotate this one back because that would be more advantageous for me and potentially give me a win next turn. Let's see what happens. Oh, the computer's pretty smart. So there you have it. <laughs> it cemented it in. And I could have, any time you move a tile more than three or two times, so the third time it turns to cement. So that was a really nice move for the computer. But we'll just keep playing along here and see what happens. Let's see what the computer does with this. Again, it likes it really likes the rotations. Now we only have so many alterations, and you can check and see how many alterations your opponent has by clicking this. Um, oh, the computer's giving itself 99 alterations, so we could be up against a big challenge. I only have limited alterations, <laughs> so we'll see what happens here. I'm going to experiment with some swapping just to show you how that looks. You can do this, and you can swap things around a little bit. And I like to do this in the beginning of a game just to get an idea of what it might look like if you did some swapping. Now let's see what the computer does with this. Again, another rotation. It really likes those rotations. Now, I think there's a potential here for a, a win, so I'm going to just swap around and see if I can find it. So if I take this one tile here that has two alterations on it, if I swap that with another tile, it's going to cement that tile. So I'm going to do that because I think it'll work really well for me in this particular game. And you know, as you can see, I cemented a tile in that I really want to keep there. And this particular uh, alteration that the opponent used I can just rotate that back if I like it better like this and cement it. So you can see how alterations are very important to keep an eye on. Here we, here we go again. The opponent has altered a tile and I'm going to alter it right back, putting myself in a good situation because I could place one tile in there that could actually get me to a win. Let's try this. I'll go here. And this particular computer really likes to use the rotate button. And I'm running out of rotation, so I have to be careful. I only have one left. All right, well that was a beautiful move by the computer, which lets me potentially win this game if I can find the right tile, as I did. There we go, for the win. I hope that was helpful to see the game from beginning to end. And of course we won, which is also Feels really good. All right, take care.